Okay, so hello guys. Uh, ngayon, uh, i-discuss natin yung derivatives of constants, sum, difference, and power. We're in, yung mga topics na yan sa differential calculus ay under na algebraic algebraic functions. So, we have the derivatives the derivatives of Number one, constant. Number two, sum. And three, difference. And last is the power. So these four topics are going to be discussed within this video. Okay. So first, uh, let's start it with the derivative of constant. constant. So, we have our formula here. Formula. We have dc over dx is equivalent to 0. Okay? So, where in c is a constant. So, yan yung formula natin ng derivative of a constant. So, let's have an example. So, for example, Samples, number one. So, let's say we have the function y is equivalent to 2. And 2 is our constant. So, applying our formula, dc over dx is equivalent to 0, where n c is a constant. So, y prime natin. y prime is equivalent to 0. So, ganyan lang siya. So, if we prove natin yan, using the increment method but supposed to be in our solution in this derivative uh, increment method will be used as a proving only so prove natin y is equivalent to 2 so using increment method y plus delta y is equivalent to 2 then delta y is equivalent to 2 then itong y transpose natin sa kabila magiging minus y and yung value ng y natin is 2, di ba? So, substitute natin. 2 minus 2. And within this portion pa lang ng solution natin, nag-0 na agad ito. Uh, dalawa. Kaya, ilalagay natin dito, delta y is equivalent to 0. So, within limit, delta x is uh, approaches 0. So, dito pa lang, na-prove na natin na yung... Uh, derivative natin for this function is equivalent to 0. y prime is equivalent to 0. Which is, nakuha natin dito. Okay, so ganun lang. C, derivative of a constant. Okay, another, na, na, another example, number 2. Okay, so number 2, uh, let's say we have y prime is equivalent to 5. So, of course, matik yan, y prime is equivalent to 0 since 5 is a constant. So, ganun lang si uh, derivative of constant. Now, we have the derivative derivative of sum and difference. So, iminsan na na natin ilalagay. Difference. So, formula natin for derivative of sum and difference, we have d over dx, yung function natin, u plus d. Okay? So, uh, lagay na rin natin minus. Yan. Then later on, uh, uh, separate natin yung formula na yan para ma-identify natin yung para sa sum and para sa difference. So, we have uh, du over dx plus or minus dv over dx. Okay? So, for sum, ganito lang siya. d over dx u plus v plus 2 ah, plus equals du over dv dx plus dv over dx. Next, we have d over dx for the difference u minus v equals du over dx minus dv over dx. So, u and v denotes for our terms. So, let's say for example, sa function natin, meron tayong dalawang, uh, dalawang term. Yun si 
view at saka si B. And then, for sum, ito yung i-apply nating formula. And for the difference, ito naman ang i-apply nating formula. Okay? So, let's have an example. So, examples. Number one. So, let's say we have uh, derivative of y is equivalent to the function 2x plus 3. So, we now have addition. So, we are going to apply this formula. So, y prime or dy over dx is equivalent to, so the derivative of 2x, so ililet natin na cu is 2x and then cv is equivalent to 3. Okay? So, ito siya. Ngayon, itong du over dx, ibig sabihin na, ide-derive natin yung value, yung value ni u. Okay? So, ito, ide-derive natin magiging du over dx is equivalent to what? Derivative niyo natin is 2. And this one, derivative of dv over dx is equivalent to 0 kasi constant. Yan. Okay? So, applying uh, du over dx plus dv over dx, so, it's a substitute natin to. So, dy over dx now is equivalent to 2 plus 0. So, we now have 2. Okay? So, pwede na rin natin itong i-denote as y prime is equivalent to 2. Okay? So, ito na yung answers natin. Answer natin. Okay? Another example for subtraction. So, uh, number 2. So, for subtraction naman. Uh, same din lang naman to. Same process. So, let's... Uh, 2x minus 3. So, same lang. Same example lang dito. na Naibahan lang na sign. Okay. So, uh, we will let 2x. U is equivalent to 2x. And V is equivalent to 3. Okay. So, pag dinerive natin to du over dx, i-derive natin yan. Kukunin lang natin yung 2. So, we now have 2. And then, dv over dx, we now have 0 since constant yan. Now, applying our formula, uh, dy over dx is equivalent to du over dx plus dv over dx. So, substitute natin. So, du over dx is equivalent to 2 plus uh, yung dv over dx na is equivalent to 0. So, we now have dy over dx or y prime is equivalent to 2. Minus pala yan. So, correction, minus 2. Kasi, naka-subtract tayo dito. So, minus. Ayan. So, ganun lang si sum and difference. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? So, now, uh, let's discuss about the derivative of a power. Derivative of power. Derivative of power. So, we have the formula. Formula natin, d over dx is equivalent to, okay, d over dx, x raised to n. Is equivalent to, mm -hmm. N, X, N minus 1. We're in yung N natin dito. Ito yung power or the exponent. So, mapapansin nyo dito, pag dinerive na natin, kukunin natin si N, ilalagay natin dito as constant. And then, uh, or coefficient. And then, yung variable natin, X. Then, na-retain pa rin doon yung N natin, yung exponent. Pero, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Okay? So, examples. Examples of the derivative of a power. So, number one. Let's say we have the function y is equivalent to x cubed. Okay? So, ililet natin na ang n natin dyan is 3. Okay? Which, kasi yun yung power or the exponent. So, applying this formula, 
so we now have y prime equals uh, 3 our variable and then our power or exponent 3 then minus 1 and now the next step is 3 we now have 3 x so 3 minus 1 2 so this is our final answer so yan na yung answer natin okay yan na si answer next uh, let's let's have another example number 2 example let's say we have uh, in our function we already we already have a fixed uh, coefficient so let's say 4 x raised to 5 okay so mapapansin niyo dito sa example na to meron ng function diyan ay meron ng coefficient diyan hindi katulad dito na wala di ba so ito gagawin lang natin applying our formula for power y prime is equivalent to ibaba natin si uh, n natin which is yung 5 so 5 okay uh, lagyan ng parenthesis 4 and then yung variable natin x then yung power 5 minus 1 ganyan lang siya and then y prime is equivalent to multiply natin yung dating uh, coefficient natin same time yung binaba natin exponent na si 5 so 5 times 4 is equivalent to 20 then a variable x so, uh, power natin, 5 minus 1 is equivalent to 4. So, yan na yung uh, final answer natin sa example na yan. Okay? So, how about kapag ganito? Number 3. Y is equivalent to square root of x. Ganyan. So, ganito naman siya. So, since square root of x is equivalent to x raised to 1 half, ganyan, raised to 1 half, e, equal lang kasi yan, square root of x is equivalent to x raised to 1 half. Now, we're going to let n be 1 half. Okay? Then, applying our power formula, okay, uh, y prime is equivalent to 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1. Okay? So, divide na natin ito. So, dito na natin siya i-continue. Okay? Continuation ng number 3 example. So, now we have y prime is equivalent to 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1 raised to negative 1 half. Okay? So, simplify lang natin. y prime is equivalent to uh, x raised to negative 1 half over 2. Okay. And then ito, pwede na natin itong ibaba para mawala yung uh, negative sign sa ating exponent. So, y prime is equivalent to 1 over 2 x raised to negative 1 half. Negative. Or, y prime is equivalent to 1 over 2. Ah, wala na pala yung ano. Wala na itong negative sign. Okay. Wala na negative sign dyan ha, pag binaba natin. So, 1 half. So, ito. Then, ito, pwede na natin ibalik sa dati na 2 square root of x. So, our final answer is y prime equals equivalent to 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay? Yan na siya. Ngayon naman, uh, uh, based on our power formula, introduce ko na rin sa inyo yung chain rule chain rule natin chain rule okay our chain rule formula based from our power formula we have d over dx uh, u raised to n n yan ha and to, baka sabihin nyo, you din. N equals N U N minus 1 D U over D X. Okay, ganyan. 
So, yan si uh, chain rule formula natin. Formula. So, let's have an example for this chain rule. So, next frame. Example. We have this one, number one. Y is equivalent to parentheses 1 minus x square raised to 3. Okay? Yan. So, yan yung uh, i-apply natin dyan is chain rule. We're going to let u is equivalent to 1 minus x square. And ang n natin is c 3. Yung exponent dito. Okay? So, using this formula, so, ni u natin, nag-let tayo ng value ni u. And, nag-let tayo ng value ni n. Okay? So, now, uh, sulat lang natin dito. Uh, d over dx, para din natin u n. So, we now have n u n minus 1 d u over dx. Tapos, ito, kukunin natin yung derivative nito. d u over dx. So, ano yung derivative nito? So, derivative ng 1 is 0. So, 0 minus derivative nito, 2x. Okay? So, 2x. So, paano natin nakuha yung 2x using our power formula? Okay? So, equals. So, we now have uh, du over dx is equivalent to negative 2x. Okay? So, using this one, so y prime is equivalent to n. Ano yung n natin? 3. Yung u natin, uh, 1 minus x square uh, raised to n natin, 3. 3 minus 1. And then, nakuha nating negative 2x. Kasi, you know, yung du over dx natin. Ito siya. So, parenthesis negative 2x. Now, simplify. y prime is equivalent to 3, 1, Minus x square, square. And then, andyan pa rin yung negative 2x natin. Okay? So, itong negative 2x natin, ilalagay na lang natin sa harapan. Okay? So, next page. Next thing. Y prime is equivalent to uh, negative 2x multiplied to 3. 3. Then, y, 1 minus x square raised to 2. Okay. So, paano yan? So, uh, y prime, ito, i-ano na lang natin. Uh, Pag-multiplyin lang natin to. So, we have negative 6x 1 minus x square square. Ayan. Ayan. So, ito, para ma-simplify natin, yung derivative natin, i-expand natin to y prime is given to negative 6x. So, 1 square, 1, minus negative 2x square, 2x square, plus x raised to 4. Okay? Ayan. Tapos, expand na lang natin. y prime is given to uh, distribute negative 6x uh, plus 12x cubed plus a ah, minus pala. Minus 6x raised to 5. Ayan. So, yan yung sagot natin. So, asasayin nyo na lang kung uh, e, ano nyo siya? I-expand nyo siya. Ay, ayusin nyo. So, pwede naman natin ayusin na y prime is equivalent to negative 6x raised to 5 plus 12x cubed minus 6x. Okay. So, yan yung answer natin. Okay? So, ito na yung magiging answer. Then, answer. Uh, okay. So, what if another example? Another example. What if square naman yan? 
number two. Number two. So let's say we have y is equivalent to square root of one minus x square. Ah, uh, plus naman natin. Plus. Yeah. Ah, bayan natin. Plus 2x. So, using our chain rule, uh, so ito, equivalent lang siya sa 1 plus 2x raised to 1 half. So, using, letting u is equivalent to 1 plus 2x, and then n natin is equivalent to 1 half. So, our chain rule, using our chain rule, y prime is equivalent to, so yung n natin, 1 half, and then yung u natin, 1 plus 2x, plus 2, makangit na so that, plus, and then 1 half, minus 1, and then yung derivative ng u natin, so du natin, over dx is equivalent to 1, ah, uh, 0, plus 2, or we have 2, okay? So ito, uh, derivative of du over dx, we have 2, okay? So ito, uh, ilalagay lang natin. So y prime is equivalent to 2, 1 half, so, 1 plus 2x is a negative 1 half. Kasi 1 half minus 1 is negative. 1 half. So, y prime is equivalent to ito. Magiging 1 na lang yan. Kasi 2 over 2. ba? So, magiging 1 plus 2x raised to negative 1 half. Or, 1 na yan. 1. 1 plus 2x is a negative 1 half. So, nalagay na lang natin sa next page. So, y prime is equal to 1. 1 plus 2x is a negative 1 half. Or, y prime is equal to 1 over 1 plus 2x raised to 1 half. Final answer natin, 1 over square root of 1 plus 2x. Okay, so, yan na yung magiging final answer natin. Okay, review. Review natin. Uh, 1 half. Okay, so, tama. 0 yan. 0 plus 2. Um, 2x. Okay, so, tama. Ayan. Now, let's say, now we have, we're going to have an example of combinations. Combinations. Combinations na ng formula natin. So, examples. Number one. Let's say we have y prime. Y is equivalent to 2x cubed minus 2x plus 0. So, kung, ah, hindi pala 0. Now we have 4. So we have uh, power, we have minus or difference, sum, and then we have constant. So y prime is equivalent to 3, 2, x, then 3 minus 1, minus derivative nito, we have 2, and then plus derivative ng constant 4, 0. So y prime is equivalent to 6, x squared, minus 2. So, yan na yung final answer natin. You can uh, prove this using uh, increment method if you want to. Another example, let's say we have example number 2. Uh, y prime ah, ito, ito naman. R is equivalent to t square minus or plus square root of t. Okay. So, yan naman. 
So, R. Uh, derive muna natin to. So, ano lang natin. Pwede itong, i-derive yun na lang minsan. Once. Or pwede yun lang hat, hatiin ito. So, let's say, for example, pag sinabi kong hati, R is equivalent to T square. And then, R is equivalent to square root of T. Then, later on, pagsamahin yun na lang sila. So, ito, dr over dt is equivalent to 2t. Okay? Paano naging 2t? So, burayin natin to. 2. Kinuha natin yung n. Natin na si uh, 2 exponent. Then, 2 minus 1. So, we now have 2t. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, hindi na lang natin nilagay. Okay? So, dito naman, we have dr over dt is equivalent to, uh, let's say we have, kasi square root, one half din lang yan. So, we have uh, one half t, then one half minus one. Okay, so, we have one half t raised to negative one half. Or, we have 1 over 2 square root of t. Okay? Yan na siya. So, pag-combine na natin ito. So, dr over dt is equivalent to 2t plus 1 over 2 square root of t. Ayan. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay, yeah. So that ends our topic regarding regarding the derivative of a constant. Check. We we'll discuss nothing. Derivative of sum. Check. Difference. Check. And power. And then bonus is the chain rule. Bonus topic. We'll discuss natin. And combinations. Combinations of each derivatives. So that ends our lecture today. Thank you.